Hello and welcome to this session on JMeter beginner tutorial tips and tricks and today we are going to learn how do we loop through the contents of a CSV file in our JMeter test plan. So we are going to refer the values from a CSV file and then we will see how to run our test equal to the count of rows or until the time we have data in our CSV file. So let's get started and I'm going to my JMeter and here I will create a thread group so I'll do a right click on the test plan and add a thread group and inside a thread group I will add a sampler HTTP request and here I can add any web page so let me just go to the website lifecharger.org and I will copy this URL and go back to my JMeter and I can paste it here and of course I do not need the protocol here so that's it if I now create a listener so I will add a listener view results tree and I can just now run and validate it so let me also save the test plan and yes it is working fine now if I have to refer any value so let's say if I have to refer this value of the URL from a CSV file let me go to my desktop and create a new folder I will name it as data and let me go inside this data folder and here I will create a new I can create a new text document here and again name it as data and now I can actually go and change the extension and make it CSV and yes and open this okay so now here I can give some data so I am giving the URL let me say this is URL and here I say so I want it to be referred from here so I will save and close this now I will go to my JMeter and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a right click on the thread group and go to add and go to config element and we have CSV dataset config I will add it here take it to the top and now here I can give the details of my CSV file so here I have to give the file name so I have to give the location so I will go back to my location here copy it from here and give it in my JMeter so I have to give the complete location with the CSV file name and of course if your CSV file is in the bin folder of JMeter then you can directly give the name like this but because my CSV file is not in the bin folder of JMeter so I will give the complete path and here as of now let me keep other things as it is and what I'm going to do is I am going to refer this particular value of URL from the CSV so I will say dollar and inside curly braces I will give the name of the column that I had in my CSV file which is URL so I think it is in capital yes and I can now save this and try to run it again and yes you can see it is running fine so that means it is being referenced correctly from our CSV file now let's suppose we have more than one row in our CSV file let me open my CSV file again and let me add one more row here so I'm going to just uh, let me say google.com so now we have two values of URL and I will save this and close it now if I run my test again let me clear all the results and run it again you can see it is still running only a single row it is not running the two rows so what I have to do is and I have already shown this in the earlier tutorials of JMeter beginner so if you go to my channel and go to the JMeter beginner playlist let me just search for JMeter beginner yes it is here 
if you go here in the jmeter beginner playlist there is a session session number 13 on how to read data from csv file or parameterization so here also i have shown this however now to make our test run for all the rows of csv file what i will have to do is i will have to give the loop count equivalent to the number of rows in my csv file so for example i have two rows i will say two here and now let me run it again i will clear the results and run it again and now you can see the first time it ran lifecharger.org and the second time it went to google.com so now it is running fine however this is not a very realistic test plan we do not want to hard code the value here and we also do not want to be dependent on this step to always put a loop count here suppose tomorrow i want to add 10 other values in my csv file i do not want to always come here and change the value here so i want to keep it as it is so here what i will do is i will do a right click on the thread group and add a logic controller and add a while controller so i will add a while controller and what i am going to do is i will move the csv data config as well as as the http request inside the while controller and here in the while controller i can give the condition as the parameter or the variable so here i can give dollar url and now now i will try to run it again but before i do that i have to make few changes the first one is recycle on end of file i have to make it false because i don't want to keep on iterating and similarly stop thread on end of file i have to say true so that it will end once the end of file reaches and it will not keep on continuing so now i will go and run it again and yes you can see it has run two times the first one it went to the first row which is lifecharger.org and the second time it went to the second row now let us test it if i change the number of rows let me go to my csv file and here i will add a third row let us say wikipedia.org and i will save this and close this so now let me go back and let me run it again i will clear and run it now and you can see it has ran three times the first one lifecharger.org second one is google.com and the third one is wikipedia.org also if i go to the while controller and i believe uh, this is not required even if i make even if i keep it empty and try to run it now i will clear and run it again you can see still it is running three times so this is how you can use a while loop to make your test run equal to the number of rows you have in your csv file i hope this session was very useful for you if you like the session please hit the like button and share with others and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel i will meet you in the next episode of jmeter tips and tricks thanks for watching